Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle as you can see in this uh, diagram whose uh, side lengths are represented by x, x squared and this uh, hypotenuse is x cubed. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, x. We are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and label this uh, hypotenuse as our side c. I'm going to label this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus the next one is going to be x power 2 whole square equal to x uh, power 3 whole square. And now let's recall the power rule according to this rule. Uh, if we have a uh, x power m and then power n, in other words, we have uh, nested exponents, then we can multiply out uh, these nested exponents. So this is going to be x power m times n. So therefore, we can write this thing as uh, x square plus uh, x power 2 times 2 is going to make it 4 and x uh, power 2 times 3 is going to make it uh, 6. And now we are going to divide each and every term by x square across the board, x square and uh, x square. And now let's recall the quotient rule. According to this rule, uh, we are going to subtract uh, these uh, exponents. So therefore our equation is going to become 1 plus uh, x uh, square equal to x power Four. And now I'm going to move all these uh, terms to the right hand side. So therefore our equation is going to become uh, x power 4 minus uh, x square minus uh, 1 equal to 0. And here we are ended up with the quartic uh, equation x power 4 minus x square minus 1 equal to 0. And now I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to call uh, x square equal to u. So therefore our this equation is going to become uh, u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0. And now we can see we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by using the quadratic formula. And here's our quadratic formula that we will be using. And here our coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to negative 1, and constant c equals to negative 1 as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula. So therefore u is going to be equal to negative and negative 1 plus or minus uh, square root of uh, negative 1 whole square, negative 4 times a is 1, c is negative 1, all over 2 times 1. And now let's focus on this uh, radicand. Negative 1 square is going to be positive 1, negative and negative become uh, positive 4, 1 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 5. So therefore this whole uh, radicant uh, turns out to be 5. So therefore uh, u is going to be equal to 1 plus or minus uh, square root of 5 uh, all over 2 times 1 is 2. And now let's recall uh, u equal to x square. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, u by x square. So therefore after substitution back is going to give us uh, x square equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now we are going to split uh, these positive and negative signs. 
as you can see in this uh, next step the first one is with the positive sign and the second one with the negative uh, sign and now we can undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides likewise this uh, square root over here and the square root on the right hand side as well so therefore we are ended up with the x equal to square root of uh, 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and this second uh, x value is going to be square root of uh, 1 minus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, radicant uh, inside this uh, square root and we can see that this uh, radicant uh, is a negative uh, number so therefore this is not going to be a real uh, solution so therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, scenario and we are going to accept uh, this one since this uh, radicant uh, is a positive number so thus our x value turns out to be square root of 1 plus square root of 5 uh, divided by 2 and now let's make an observation let's focus on this uh, radicant uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 5 all over 2 and this uh, special number 1 plus square root of 5 uh, all over 2 is called the golden ratio and the golden ratio is represented by phi and this number is approximately equal to 1.618 so therefore if x value is uh, square root of 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 then uh, x uh, is going to be approximately equal to 1.272 so therefore after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be square root of uh, 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and this would be equal to approximately 1.272 so therefore I can write x value is going to be square root of 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.